Hello fellow modelers! In today's video I'm going to paint these lovely small figures. They are in 72 scale and are really tiny. The size of a figure is around 2 cm. Scale 75 makes the resin figures and as you can see are nicely detailed. And the price is also acceptable. It is impossible to hold the figure meanwhile painting, so good is to use some base or holder. You can use a wooden stick, wine cork or something like that. Then fix the figure carefully on the pedestal. You can use super glue for this purpose, but use only a reasonable amount of it. Recommended is to unify the figure with a very soft layer of a primer or surfacer. It will reveal more lines and minor imperfections. I use for cleaning new and sharp of the blade. I must be careful and affectionate because even the smallest unwanted cut can permanently damage the details. And you do not want this. The figures are cast from two side mold, so the same as the plastic parts have the mold lines. They are not very pronounced, but you will be capable of seeing them in photos or with a microscope. So let's start with painting. I was studying different techniques and approaches about figures painting from the best artists. And I think I finally found which I like the most. It is basically a combination all of them. You must preserve the most of the details and use the smallest amount of color. Therefore the base layer and shading I am spraying with an airbrush and highly diluted color. The layer is only a few microns, so you don't need to worry about details. Now I am spraying dark desert yellow and light beige from the top side of the figure. The color particles adhere only to the raised parts of the folds of fabric, so this way you can make basic shading. If you want decent color contrast, then after the step you are done, because all of this shading you can make only with a brush. Now the small details. I use acrylic colors for paintbrush, like Revel Aqua, Citadel or Vallejo. Also important is good paintbrush. You can visit some shops with artistic supplies and ask for paintbrush with natural hairs, like Da Vinci, Winsor Newton or for micro details Army Painter. I have good eyes, thanks to God for this, but this is over my abilities. Therefore I use a magnifying glass or magnifying goggles. I have glasses with 20 optical magnification, but the disadvantage is that you must be very close to the object. And I found out that it is not easy to film the whole process. Therefore I use only 2.5 optical magnification, which allows relatively comfortable painting from the distance. I found it hard to paint shading with acrylic colors, so I use them again only like a base color. And for the rest, oil paints. The advantage is more comfortable blending, shading and you can use them for different techniques. The only disadvantage is drying time. You can use different thinners, but for figures I found the best matte effect thinner, because oil paints are gloss for a long time and on the matte surface creating a strong contrast. So if you don't have a super skills, it is easier to choose the correct shade if everything is matte. However, you can use white spirit or enamel thinner as well. The first what I am doing is color filter and wash. The trousers should be more brownish and the jacket greener. Also highly diluted oil paint makes folds of fabric more pronounced. And one more thing, if you used acrylic paint on the base is too much gloss and is hard to apply oil paint then you can spray over a soft layer of matte varnish. The varnish creates a more rougher microstructure and allows easier blending. I forgot to mention that you can clean the surface carefully before primer with a soapy water or isopropyl alcohol, because the surface could be contaminated with a grease or dust. Painting a face in this scale is difficult, 
if the face does not have any details and is flat. So it is an often problem with many plastic figures. Luckily, this resin figure is nice, so also painting is not a nightmare. Only recommend buying some set of face shades because mixing them requires some practice. The glasses you can paint with a black and add clear varnish, but I found some figures with a more comic shading and I like it, therefore they are blue with a white and green shading. Now I'm highlighting contours. I use acrylic colors because it is easier to paint uniform layer and also the acrylic paints have better coverage properties and dry faster. The figure now looks usable and I have a better idea about what I want to achieve. Also it is easier to understand close shading. The shading I'm making again with the oil paints. You do not need 20 shades and simply apply one oil paint and then blend it. You can use for blending dry brush with very soft hairs or fibers. Try to apply on the raised top sections brighter shades and into fold some darker. Do not use black or white, instead mix some similar shades to the base color.
In the end, you can paint uniform badges. Good for illustration could be photo documentation of original uniforms. If you solve a previous video with a steward, then you already know that I also painted one soldier. But the whole process was similar, so only shading for illustration. At the end of the painting process, you can let oil paints dry properly for 3 days, at least. Then it is good to protect and unify the result with a semi-gloss or matte varnish. The best part is to glue them on the model and see the result. If you do not have a precise or detailed figures for your model, you can download a lot of 3D models and print them with a resin 3D printer. The layer thickness is 0.15mm and even in 72 scale are printed layers almost invisible. I only need to buy grey resin because this blue is quite impractical. And if you want to see some resin printed model, then it will be next time. You can write me a comment if you can recognize what it is. Anyway. That is all for this bonus video, thank you for watching and see you next time.